Uh, I want to start off before I uh, get started with my sermon and testify of how God gave me this. God gave me a vision uh, a couple months ago while Michael was preaching about this sermon, and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to share this during Easter to give this sermon today, Youth Sunday. Yes. And I have two places to go. I have Hebrews 12, 1 through 2. Wherefore, seeing we are also, we are we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the Author and Finisher of our faith, who of the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame. And set it down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. Amen. The second one is Colossians 3, 1 through 4. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is on the right hand of God. Set your afflictions on things above, not on earthly things. For ye are dead, and your, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Amen. Yes. Father, please help me today as I bring this message to your Look church, Lord God. Lord, please uh, let my words come directly from you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Father. Let everyone's heart be willing and open to receive it, Lord Jesus. Yes. yes. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be able to share this with Jesus. Please protect us all today, Lord God. I just thank you for Jesus. Amen. 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 <coughs> Jesus calls us to be like him. Be Christ. Mm -hmm. yes. Be like Christ. Right. Be a Christian. And as Christians, we are separated from the world, and not like the things that are in this world. If we are looking towards Jesus, we can't see the world. But if we are looking towards the world, we're not able to see Jesus. That's right. And there's no in the middle. You either have to be looking towards the world or looking towards Jesus. Right. Cameron, if you would please come up and help me a little bit. Now, hold on. Oh, we'll do it. Here, fine. I won't have to move this as much. Now, I have a cross here. And over there is the world. And Cameron is going to be the Christian in the world. Now, in our walk with Christ, please take two steps forward towards Jesus. We always feel like we're getting closer to Jesus. Mm. But the devil comes to us and he's like, that's not what you're supposed to be doing. You're not doing exactly what you're supposed to. And that hurts us. Right. So we end up taking more steps back than we took forward. If you please take five steps back. And now, he's way over there and Jesus is way over here. That's right. And this happens so many times in our Christian life. And it might feel ridiculous that I'm having him walk up here and take a couple steps forward and a couple steps back. But isn't it so true that in our actual spiritual lives, this yes. is what it looks like? Yes. And sometimes you get so far back that when you turn around, you have a clear view of the world. And you have no view of Jesus. But the great thing about our Savior, please help me, is that when he died, he picked his cross up. And he brought it to the exact spot you're at. Ooh. When you turn around, Jesus is right here. Yeah. Amen. My father. Yeah. And he's like, come back. Thank you, Jesus. I brought this cross to you. And I, I will walk with you back to where you need to go. No. All he wants from you is to turn back around to him. Amen. Jesus has been doing this since the beginning, and he does it because he loves you. Mm -hmm. He wants the best for you, and the best thing you can do is turn around and face him again. Yes. Yes. And you can see exactly what the cross has done for you. The world hasn't done anything but keep you distracted from what Jesus is doing. That's right. And it's, and it's the devil showing you the pleasures of money and food and whatever it has to keep its grip on you, because that's how the devil works. Mm -hmm. He wants to show you the good, good world in his eyes just to tell you how bad you are when you do the bad things. Amen. But once you take the action to actually turn around and look to Jesus, he will take a hold of that grip that the devil has on you, and he will rip it off. Amen. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Now that you're facing Jesus, you don't have to crave the stuff you were doing, but God puts a whole new craving in your life. Yes. That fills you yes. every time you ask for it. Because that's how good our God is. Yes. Yes. Coming yes. to us in our darkest moments and pulling us back to the light. Yes. Jesus doesn't want pain for us. He just gives us a way out. Amen. Amen. Yes, Father.